Good morning. Welcome back. Hey, Randy. How are you, buddy? Glock by my sides here. Got all the awesome people going on here. We're going to be uh, broadcasting live here. Get things a little set up. How are you guys doing today? Got tons of people here, man. It's awesome. Got Alcus, Haras, or Her Her Hararis, Hararis, David Lindsay, Jason Brown, Knives Fast. What up? Got to clean my glasses, I guess. Drew's here. What's up, Drew? Big Red's here. Glock by my side. Drew, Big Red, Hilltop. <sighs> Excuse me. Cleaning the glasses. All uh, members of Zach's Daily Carry crew. What's up, Peter? What is happening? Happy Sunday. Tier 1 gear and EDC. What's up, what's up? Brewer95. My guy Dane, he's here. What's up, Dane? Lion Knives. Knifeology. Mikey Rast. Getting all this done. Cleaning my glasses here so I can read. Manny Z. Scott Simons. Or Simmons, sorry, Simmons. Scott Simmons. What up? Nice slicers, yes. Klaus Searsma. What up, Ohio knife lover? Kiefer's in the house. What up, Kiefer? Tier 1. Michael McDonald. Yeah, it's a beauty. I feel so bad for, you know, Big Red and a couple others that had a little lock issues. What's up, Morgan? Morgan's here. What's going down, Morgan? Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. It's just beautiful in Micarta. And of course, from our buddy Dylan Mallory. You just can't go wrong. Yo, oh, really? That's funny, Mikey. What's up, Mikey's here? Be doing a little mail call today. We're going to be doing some live channel updates. I had to... <laughs> Stafford ZDC, thanks, buddy, for loaning me these scales. They are being broken down and put in the mail back to you today. Uh, I had to show them off one last time. It's just a beautiful build. Uh, I know you guys have seen the video on that, but... I gotta definitely get a set of these. Make some lightweight, so sturdy. What's up, women carry knives? Welcome, welcome. Just some gorgeous work that they do at Aimfront. I know he's working on a lot of stuff, so hopefully we'll get to see some of that hard work come out and we can pick some of that up. Oh, you returned one of yours, huh? Excuse me for the slurping. A little bit of tea this morning. Cup of tea with you. What's up, David Lindsay? Rusty. What's up, Rusty? Yeah, the bug out's beautiful. Hey, Paul's here. What's up, Paul? Paul's another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Southern Edge Knives works in the house. Bam! We'll throw that out there for them. What up, Southern Edge Knife Works? I will give you a rundown here com coming shortly of this, but just a pre a pre pre notice of Southern Edge Knife Works. Still running the awesome exclusive discount for you guys. August West, what's up? Use the code Zach15. You're gonna get 15% off. And until the 15th, on the 15th, the shipping changes. So right now you can still get your free shipping in the US until the 15th. On the 15th, it's going to go up to $5, but you'll still get your 15% off. So hands down, one of the best deals, even at $5. But if you have any knife purchases you want to make today, hop on over Southern Edge Knife Works. All the benefits go to you guys. So they send some stuff out for review. I pass it on to you guys as well um, when they pass it on to me and they give the discount right to you guys. So yeah, the shipping's good stuff. So Plus, you get the 15% off. That's good stuff, man. Yeah, no worries, Mikey. Yeah, I'm glad I can interact with you guys. The, you know, I have to say, 
This has been a crazy, oh yeah, Big Red, put it through it up right there. There's Southern Edge Knife Works. You can go there. You can use Zach 15. You can also use Big Red. He's got a code for it as well. Um, gives you 15% off also. Um, we just like to support the companies that support the knife community. Uh, I know a lot of them do in different ways. Um, this is an opportunity that literally delivers right back to the knife community on both sides. You know, um, they're nice enough to send some stuff out for review. Um, they donate some stuff to the channels as well. Um, different channels and those of us that you know myself and big red i know what's up rodney welcome got the gold going with the the gold orange zach stuff logo on those guys yeah so that's one of those things that goes down um goes right back to you guys oh your car ate your budget knife oh your car ate your knife budget oh that is rough my house is doing that to me right now you know, there's been some craziness going on here. The whole entire West Coast is pretty much covered in smoke for the last week and a half. Um, some crazy fires going on. A lot of people losing everything. Um, you know, got a dozen people have lost their life over it. It's a bummer deal, but the positive is there's awesome people here helping people out. Um, and it really shows like the kindness in America right now. And I know 9-11 was a huge reflection for us on a, on a lot of uh, different ends. But people are really pulling together, man. You know, we, we bumped all the way up to like a level two evacuation. Um, they didn't have a really good control on things. And now all of a sudden, bam, things are coming back around. You know, they got a lot of crews in now. Things are going awesome. So anyways, just want to let you know what's going on here. Um, I can't see further than like 40, 50 feet right now at my house. Um, it's just so crazy with smoke and fog. I'll take the fog cause it's got moisture. It's helping, but smoke we have like, I think here in Portland, Oregon, we, we have the worst, um, air quality in the world the last two days. So, Hey, if we're going to be good at something, let's do it all the way. Right. You're going to put all your efforts into it, but. Now let's just do one of those things why it's, uh, you know, we're here to have fun, celebrate knives. What up, Cody? Cody Villa's in the house. Not DG's here. We got Thomas McDermott's here. What up, Thomas? Another member of Zach's Daily Carrier Crew with Therapeutic Edge. So many awesome people here. Just thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I know it's early. Some of you guys, it's middle of the day. What's up, Josh? How are you, buddy? Um, but yeah, let's get into what we're here to do today. Uh, we'll look at this side click pin before we get it off. It's tactile turns, new pin. You probably saw my review on it. If you haven't, check it out. It's push button top. Push this thing. Pops right out. What's up, David? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, the fires have been nuts and crazy. Um, I hope everybody stays safe. Everybody's taking shelter. Get out of the smoke. What's up, David Payne? Um... It's just one of those things, man, you know, but these products are amazing. He has some crazy stuff he's dropping for his uh, bolt action ones, I think on Tuesday or something like that. So there you go. Cody's selling his copper scales, so you can hop in on that. Yeah, that's right. Glock by my side. And I'll have to tell you, we'll talk about some things here coming up, but we have some awesome things that got mailed in. And I want to show those because there's some super kindness that's in, in the mail this week. Um, and I do want to say really quickly, um, thank you to everyone who's reached out over the last two weeks. There's been a lot of people that reaching out just to say hi, reaching out to really kind of share their experiences lately in their own life. And a lot of people just checking in to see how we're doing. So just want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. I haven't been able to get back to a lot of you guys. Um, the work I do ends up sometimes being more um, community driven. And this past week we spent a couple days, we took our team and we went and helped out a couple of local communities where evacuations were happening. So we literally just helped them out with evacuations, making sure everybody knew what was going on, uh, making sure everybody had the resources they needed. And then we came back Thursday to our normal job and our normal duties and then all of a sudden our you know where i live gets upgraded so oh not dg thanks man 
Thanks for joining the Zex Daily Carry Crew. Everybody give Not DG a welcome. Thanks, buddy. That's so awesome. Here, let me pull up mine real quick. Thank you so much. That is super appreciated. Your support of the channel goes right back in to you guys. So I really appreciate that. So, okay. So I got the thank yous out of the way. I really appreciate you guys. Let's get into the first thing we have here. Um, it's a, just a little tiny envelope, but we're going to need our unboxing knife. So you do get the power, you get custom emojis. Now you get all that fun stuff that's going on with that. Not DG. Sorry, I'm just banging stuff around here. Okay. So we got some room here for this ginormous Tengu tool, the 602 from Benchmade. Need a superhero name. How about DG? <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 look at that. Northman EDC. Oh, my buddy Isaac over there, Northman EDC. Sending a couple sticker swag up here. Thank you so much, Northman. That's pretty awesome. So, the favor's been returned. Your stuff's on the way. Uh, Drew, if you're still in here, I got your emails as well. I definitely want to talk to you about that. We'll get that figured out today. I got to do some kitchen plumbing repairs today after my video here. So that'll kind of tell you what's going on at my house. <laughs> but gotta love home ownership, right? I have a, I'm blessed. I have a home I can, I can make repairs on. So I'm blessed on that. It's way too early. What's up, Hollywood? Hollywood Tactical is here. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. That's awesome. Skipping out on some sleep, man. I appreciate that. I know everybody else does. So, Northman EDC, thank you so much. We're going to put that up there. We got some swag also this week from our buddy Big Red. So, we're going to put Big Red stuff up there as well. Let's go to the next one. Now, this one comes to us from Royal Mail. What's the best deal in all the land? Depends on what you're trying to do with it. I think that's a, that's a user-based, you know, every day. I think, you know, it, the, the average everyday steel is, you know, some easy to sharpen, 154. Um, but one of the things that, you know, a lot of people look at is like the new, the new regular steel. So 154 jumps to S30, S30 to S35, you know, those kind of things. So, you know, but I mean, if you get into like the crazy super steels, you could go all over the place. But it just depends on really what you're looking for. Now, this Tango tool isn't made super for opening envelopes, obviously. So, <laughs> hold on just a second. Yeah, holy smokes on that one. Yeah, oh yeah, I need to get my... Where's my holy smokes sticker? I got one. Because I'm part of Big Red's Brigade. And he sent one down. And I, I saw it last week. I didn't grab it this morning. I've been super busy. I'll find it before we get done here and I'll throw it out there. We've got to have some Holy Smokes represent. Oh, look at that. Man, I got a really cool letter um, from our buddy, Crossed. Nice slicers. Look at that. That's super cool. I'll be able to share with you guys too. That's really cool. It's got YouTube and Instagram. Little nice slicers right there. Oh yeah, Big Red threw a thing up for Northman EDC. Shout out to our guy there at Northman. Love what you do for the community. I love your channel. Learn lots through it. Take care, stay safe. Nice slicers, that's awesome, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got some stuff that I sent out to him as well. So, pretty cool how, you know, I mean, how the community can stay connected through shipping as well it's kind of it's kind of wild you know um but yeah so he's there the 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 link big red just put up for youtube that is for nice slicers so nice slicers thank you for sending this out that's super cool we're gonna put uh we're gonna put at least one of these he's got a little tear off things we're gonna put one of these in the uh put it in the room for today oh we're gonna have to put it up here so it's visible there we go that's so cool, man. So very cool. All right. 
What uh, what are we guys hydrating with this morning? You know, every literally like ninety nine percent of the businesses in my community right now are closed because of the smoke. So, what are you guys hydrating with? I'm I'm going with my tea again. Iced coffee, whiskey, nice. Coffee. Hey, Rodney, have an awesome day. Yes, stay blessed, my friend. Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for supporting Zach's Daily Carry crew. And a shout out to Rodney before he leaves. Everybody give him a shout out. Um, he Something he donated is going to be in the giveaway today. All right. Very cool. Strong coffee. <laughs> Water, that's good. Oh, Black Rifle. Scott's here. What's up, Scott? Oh, yeah, I said hi to Scott because I mispronounced his name. Oh, I need to drink more of my tea. I tried to sleep in a little bit today. It was the only day. Hey, Don C's here. Randy F's here. Nice. Universe Juice. Yeah, buddy. Cody. What was your question, Cody? Any ideas what to do with them? Coffee with a splash of PB. Yeah, there you go. That's, oh, I should try that in coffee. Quarantine coffee. It's a regular iced coffee with whiskey and no coffee. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right on. Okay, let's get to the next one. This is something that I ordered last week. Uh, you guys know what's going on with it because we're going to do some builds with it. So let's get this opened up. This one's from our good friends down in California. We're going to be taking some paperwork out here. Anything else in there? Nope. Just the paperwork. So let's get rid of the paperwork. Ah, look at that. We got a sweet sticker. Rock scale designs. I ordered up two backspacers. So let's pop these out so we can see them. One's a beautiful blue color. One's black. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's not. Oh, it's not legal to sell them. Uh, well, hit me up afterwards. You can send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. We can talk about that, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Somebody be your neighbor. So I got this beautiful blue backspacer for the Benchmade bailout. And if you saw that, that one that I got from Long Island Knife Guy's deal... If you haven't hooked up with Lou from Long Island Knife Guy, check him out. But this is from Rock Scale Designs. Oh, yeah. Big red through link up there. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. This is titanium. It's anodized blue. It's going to look beautiful on that 537 bailout. And I think, let's see here. It has the Rogue Blade Works carbon fiber scales. So it's going to look just like this one. But instead of having the gray titanium colored backspacer, it's going to have the blue one. So I'm going to, I, I want to have it a little bit of pop. And you know, my favorite color is blue. So we're going to put that one in there into that new 537 I got. And this is the one that I have and I carry. But the one that I got, I'm building that one into a giveaway. So we may put some blue thumb studs on there as well. You never know. And of course, this one. This little guy right here. Yeah, we could always do giveaways. Hey, Nice Slicers is here. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate the, the swag, man. Sending out some stickers. That's super cool. This one's for a mini bug out. So, you've seen some of my mini bug outs lately. You've seen that I got some scales for a mini bug out. Some purple carbon fiber-y looking scales. So I think this black one's going to be nice as part of that build. So that's one that I ordered for myself. But the other one I ordered for you guys, the blue little pop of color. I think that'll be awesome. So we'll put this up here. Hopefully you guys can see that one. Yeah. Oh, you have them on your bug out too? Yeah, I put them on a couple of my bug outs and stuff and they're great. Um... I want to order more of those titanium ones for the 537, but I just don't have the have the means right now with the house stuff. 
Uh, you got some Thai rock scales. Oh, nice. 20 CV custom bug. Nice. Yeah, Chad. Hey, welcome, buddy. Yeah, we're doing good. We're having fun here. Um, we're just trying to stay positive. That's the biggest thing, you know. We don't want to do... We don't want to get into the nastiness of it. We're just trying to help everybody out. So that's what I've been doing. And we're staying, we're staying positive. Yeah, there you go, Peters. Uh, Josh, I do own an Anthem, yes. I do own an Anthem. I did replace the pocket clip with an aftermarket one from MXG Gear. Let me see if I have it here handy. There's my Anthem, just a beauty. Went with the deep carry pocket clip from MXG. It's banging, love it. Uh, exactly, positive vibes, positive thoughts, David. Okay, so what else we got here? We got something from my friends down in California again. A lot of stuff coming out of California. Um, let's see here. Robbie, what's up, Robbie? He says, if you had to choose between the Mini Super Freak and the Carbon Fiber Elite Mini Presidio 2, which would you choose? Oh, man. That's a tough, that's a tough, tough one right there. That's super tough. What up, Z? <laughs> I love those guys, man. So this is from my friends at EDC Specialties. Oh, they know you guys are here. Look at this. Yeah, they threw some swag in. Look at that. that <laughs> I love that. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, you can't support it? Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. So I got into some coins recently. And then, so they threw some swag in here. So that's super awesome. That one's amazing. They have, the, if you know EDC Specialties, they have their, you know, their damn cat thing going. And that's the whole thing off it. Then Hanson, if you've seen some of their Instagram things or some of their videos, <laughs> you got to check them out, man. Those guys, those guys are a hoot. I love them. I'm going to close this so I don't have to use, because I don't have right now, I have them on order, those finger cut kits that Big Red showed off on his channel. Um, it's a great product. It's a great savior. I wish I had one when I cut myself a while back, but... Um, you know, I have some Benchmade coins. I have some other ones. I got an awesome, uh, coin from Big Red here. And so I went ahead and ordered a coin from EDC Specialties. What's up, Mark? And this one is pretty cool. Let me see if I can get this open here. It's that rubbery type plastic material. Yeah, Hanson's a hilarious bit, a bit. And they have the evil damn cat. And so they did a coin for it. And I was like, dude, I had to get a coin that says Hanson approved and had the evil damn cat. This one's marked. It, all the coins are marked. This one's 52. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty cool gig, man. So always be, always prepared, always alert. And Hanson approved. So pretty, pretty sweet deal there. So, and they sent some extra swag in cause they just, they know that I have the channel and they know I like to give some swag out. So thank you guys. That's pretty, pretty awesome of you to include that extra stuff. So, I mean, who can go wrong with it, right? Who, go, who can go wrong with swag? Yeah, the Hanson showing off his med for knowledge was great. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, you need to grab one of those. Definitely, these coins are great. Um, I tried to get one of their, they had a, a tool that they had. Um, and I missed out on the sale of those, but $1 antique patina custom challenge coin. Nice. Oh, that's cool. You got three of them right on. Yeah, they're Cody. They're giving you some advice on what to do with those bad boys. You know, you can own them. You just can't walk around with them. Uh, and now we're on to... We're going to throw this out there. I threw it out earlier. But this is from the awesome people at Southern Edge Knife Works. 
Um, they got a hold of me. They said, hey, we got this knife we want you to check out. So we're going to check this one out and see what they sent us here. Hold on. What do we got? Oh, we got a little Spyderco box. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's put the little packaging off to the side. Oh, wow, look at that one. Oh, man. Wow, this one looks so cool in person. This is the sun and moon one. But yeah, if you haven't, go check out Southern Edge Knife Works. Seriously, get in on that 15% off and free shipping because on the 15th, it's changing. So you'll be paying the $5 flat fee, but that $5 beats like almost everybody in the game. So, man, I have a large glove size hand, as you guys know, and my whole hand fits right on there. It locks right up. The blade's a little shorter, but look at how beautiful that is. So mother of pearl inlay. Kind of a cool G10 look to it. I mean, this is like smooth uh, versus normally the G10 that looks like this. Has some texture to it, so it's a smooth G10. Um, lock back. And then you have that. You have that red G10. Smooth with like an ivory G10. Oh yeah, you didn't like it at first? Yeah, and that's the thing like... With it being the smaller one, and it's the it's the Chaparral, sorry. It's the Chaparral Sun and Moon. Made out of their Taiwan factory. But it's pretty awesome, man. I, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger because of the way I saw people holding it on video. And I'm like, oh, okay, but it's got that forward finger choil. So even if you had a smaller hand, you could you could choke up back here. And it would be perfect. But for me, I just use that forward finger choil. It just locks right in. Wow, that's pretty neat. Man, thanks, Southern Edge Knife Works. This will be a fun one to review. It's got the uh, little tiny logo on there. I like that. I dig that. And then the Spider Co. CTS XHP. Right on. Oh, you got the Refere Noble. Yeah, the Refere Noble one's nice. I like the I like the designs um, in those patterns on those scales. Benchmade used those on one of theirs that I picked up as well on the even in the cigar cutter. So man, that's this is a nice one. I'm gonna leave it this side up because it kind of pops a little bit, but yeah, definitely go hit up Southern Edge Knife Works. Use that discount code Zach15. Um, you can always use Big Red's code as well, um, but get in on that if you want. If you have, if you're thinking about purchasing something, uh, do it before the 15th because you're going to pay that extra $5 in shipping, whereas right now you get free shipping in the U.S., but I'll tell you what, both of them are so worth it. So, And if they don't have it on their website, email them, message them. They will literally hook you up and get you that knife that you want. So... Pretty cool stuff. I love it. Thanks, you guys. That's awesome. Well, we will get that one reviewed and up on the channel this week. Hey, what's up, Penny? Welcome, Penny. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday. Yeah, I mean, seriously, if you're going to order something, what's up, CK? Got lost in the smoke. Yeah, I don't blame you, man. It's smoky and foggy like crazy. I was trying to make it to the... The post office this morning because I got a couple things to pick up that are in a parcel locker, but I don't know if I would have made it. So, oh, you're buying a coin, yeah, big red, nice. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm trying to get all that smoke out of my lungs. <coughs> I mean, it's so smoky here. Like, seriously, if you imagine like a foggy day where you could barely see your neighbor's house, that's just how it is with smoke here um and i know a lot of you guys like i was giving big red a hard time the other day because i'm like oh man i'm so jealous like you guys got blue sky still and blah blah i'm like but by the afternoon his yard looked just like my yard and i'm like oh my gosh i'm so sorry um but hopefully by tomorrow we get that stronger onshore push of wind and a little bit of rain it'll help 
Uh, I've talked to Taylor a, a while back, but not recently, no. It'd be cool. I, I would love to hook up with that guy. Do a little, uh, do a little something, something. Maybe with something with Benchmade. That's cool. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Does Southern Edge Knifeworks post internationally? Yes, they do. Um, they have a different rate for, but they do have a flat rate for shipping and Southern Edge Knifeworks is here. So he'll probably be able to give you what that is and if it's going to remain the same after the, the 15th. So it's $15.99 flat rate for you. Nice slicer. So that's pretty cool because you also get the 15% the off. So that's awesome. Uh, we got another one here. So thanks again, Southern Edge Knifeworks. That's super cool to get this chaparral and we are going to get that reviewed on the channel this week ASAP. We have some other ones dropping as well. Just got to do this carefully so I don't drop uh drop my palm on that knife. <laughs> oh, snap. Any ideas what this might be? I'm so excited I got the patch with it. Oh, big red, man. Plumbing and air filtration supplies. Yes, definitely. I've <laughs> definitely needed that this week. That's my big project for today is um, I got to pull off the garbage disposal, get into the plumbing and the kitchen, all that fun stuff. So, Oh, Rainier National Park? Oh, in a few weeks? You should be good, though. In a few weeks, you should be good. We're going to have lots of rain in the next week. So uh, you should be good with that. Oh, CRKT. Oh, I've never seen that before. Okay. The other portion of your your shipment is being or uh, orders being shipped separately. Okay. Sweet. Oh snap. Look what popped in here. Woo! Yeah, got one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thanks for watching, Bird and Frankie. That <laughs> Ah, that's pretty cool. The, uh, I think the, <laughs> excuse me, you guys. Um, yeah, Frankie and Bird are awesome. If you guys haven't watched their channel, check them out. It's Birdshot IV, um, Birdshot 4, but it's Roman numeral, however you want to look at it. On the side, RC, what's up, buddy? But yeah, I asked for one in the last couple of shipments and they ran out, so I think they felt bad on this one. So I said, hey, anything helps, you know? <laughs> so that's cool that they were able to find one and uh, get it sent out. So that's pretty cool. We'll put that one on display over here. Love it. We don't want to stab the bird with it, though. There we go. But anyways, we'll go back to this one. Oh, you've got eight of them? Nice, Drew. This, this purple is an awesome little patch. It's got the white stitching. That one's going to be going up. Ah, now i got to decide. Does it go on the patch wall? Or do I put it on one of my knife rolls? Oh, man. Or I have that new bag from Garage Bill Gear. I think it might go on that. I think it'll look good if I throw it up on my bag here. Garage Bill Gear. Throw it up on there. Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, so let's see this beautiful Lucas Burnley knife. This one's the Sketch OD Green and D2. <laughs> That's a good question, Dane. Uh, it's like the Tootsie Pop commercial or Tootsie Pop question. So look at this one. It's in the OD Green G10. It's got this kind of copper backspacer and pivot collar. And then it's got that desert warrior blade to it. Oh yeah, and there's a link to it right there. And I think it's on sale right now too with Blade HQ. Lucas Burling Designs. I like the color of this. And then they even got the little copper color to the pocket clip, which is a deep carry style, but it sits pretty well down the blade because you know he wants to make sure the lanyard fans have something to rejoice over. I like that. So, but yeah, this is a cool little knife. I saw this one. Um, I saw the patch, kind of a patch guy. So it kind of like enticed me to be like, all right, 
I'm going to buy it. It's on sale. I think it was like a drop between like 60 bucks to like 45. So, or something, something like that. It was like 15 or $20 off, which I think it still is. I just don't think you get the patch right now, but yeah, it's, it's a really nice one. You know, I, I like the thin of it and I think CRKT did this one on a couple of them, the Overland. Um, I think you saw it on uh, big Red's channel last night. The Overland was kind of that way also. Yeah, and that's a that's a true thing, Born on Blades. You know, the steel thing is something that's. I think they're gonna have to meet that that decision here very soon, because you got a lot of companies that are popping up. You know, we CGRB Artisan Cutlery, and they're coming in that in that realm of you know knives being made overseas, and using higher end steels. So, you know, I like the factor that that CRKT literally works with a lot of um, US, US knife designers. There's some really cool knife designers from all over the US that really have some great designs and it gives them that opportunity to get their knife out there on a huge market. So that's cool. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll give this one a little test out this week and then get a review up by next week. Spidey Flickable, oh man, it's tight. Look at that. So even on this end, you can see how much sticks through and you can see the liner over there, how high and proud it is on top. So that frame lock portion covers even part of the spidey hole. Um, it's not a spidey flicker for me. <laughs> I can't even get my, fi my fingernail in there to get a grip on it. I'm not sure where Lucas Burnley's from. It'd probably be something to easily look up. But yeah, so that's the CRKT sketch. That's pretty cool. It took a while to get that one in. I mean, I think I ordered that one a couple weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, front flip it, exactly. See the man ski, that's awesome. Uh, for me, it was important to get the patch as well with that on sale. So uh, Big Red put the link up there. You can go check out the link to that one. If that's something that you like, on especially on the color combo, you can check that one out. It's on sale. At least a good $10, $15 off right now. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, it's like, it, it's. I think it's literally just for the lanyard. Because if you look, like, that could have went way higher. They, you know, they could even use one of the screw holes to be the, the top, the top, the kind of that backspacer screw for the scale. I don't know. That's just me and I'm not a knife designer. So <laughs> I would imagine it's because they wanted to have the lanyard accessible for everybody. And so it would stick out of your pocket equal to the knife. But the D warrior look is wicked. Yeah, definitely. Oh, really? It's the same logo as the County. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's fun. You could probably, you could probably have some really good fun with that. Okay, he's from Orleans, Massachusetts. There you go. Thanks, Big Red. Uh, always up on the Googling, the Googliness. Okay, well, let's do a pocket check. Like, what's everybody carrying today? Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm carrying today. It's one of two knives that I'm carrying. Uh, I'll have to test that out. I'm imagining it's a Cerakote on that CRKT, but I'm carrying this one. It was an amazing gift from our good friend, Glock by my side, thank you. That's so, so much fun, and it's a great knife, especially for the weekend, especially for shorts, even though it's really cold here today and smoky. Uh, let's see, we got the, okay, check out the West Yorkshire County badge, okay. PM2 Maximum, Para 3 Lightweight, Hogue Ritter, and a Bug Out, Manix 2 M390, Protec Mordax, Macarteria, nice, right on, CF Elite Bug Out, yeah, the Banter has a great colorway on that one, the Zon, Hogue Decca, Off Grid, Scorpion Blackout, that one was fun, Peter, that one was fun, M4 Blur, Leatherman Skeletool, Mini Super Freak, 
Still carrying my purple mini bug out, a gift from an awesome dude. Yeah, Christine. That's a that's a fun knife. You'll like that one. Uh, I've got your OG Spider Coast Stage One Mini Grip and Drop Nurse. Carrying the Isham Black Star Version Two. Oh, right on. Grizzly Ridge Knife Works Exclusive. That one's nice. That's this guy right here. I love that knife. Bam! Black and blue. Just rock solid of a knife. Not using it for hunting though. Uh, 940 from Aaron. Nice. Front flip it. <laughs> yeah. August. I would so try to do that. Oh man. Spyderco Paramilitary 3 Lightweight. The Big Blue 940 BK 2002. Benjamin Osborne 940 2. We got that one right here. Got that big blue one right here. Uh, well, let's see here. Glock by my sides, Instagram there. Spyderco Pair 3. Custom knife, titanium scales from a Way of Knife. Asher Knife Code Nomad. Nice. Medford Praetorium Genesis Tie. Off Grid Black Mamba. Yeah, that one's a nice one, Big Red. 20 CV Smock. Kershaw Weston. Oh, water pump job today. Woo, good luck on that one. Pro Strider SNG. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Dark Gravity. Chad. Good old blue bug out lightweight. Shorts carry. Walk on the lake. Yeah, nice. Spidey Chef, Cold Steel, SR1, the Buffalo Jack from GEC. Got the banter today. Nice. S90B Shaman, the Chavez 229, 535, 1901, the Osborne 940 BK, ZT0562, the Slish Bowie, Spider Co. Capara. That's a nice one, Drew. Um, Sage 5, Osborne 940. Bare knuckle, 20 CV, champagne gold. It's a nerve ending process for working around the house. Yeah, I saw Sean was selling his. I have I have my two thanks to an awesome group of people here on uh, YouTube and Instagram. So, Benchmade proper, nice, nice. Um, let's see here. Where did I, oh, that one's packed away. I have another sip of tea. Blackout Griptilian. Oh, right on. Yeah, I brought my, I brought my like OG, my original barrage that I built. When they first launched the customizer. That could have been dangerous. That's why you don't play with knives left-handed. <laughs> but this is the full-size barrage. And of course, I have the lime green backspacer. And I had to go with the regular pocket clip. I couldn't do the split arrow on this one. But S30V, when they first launched it, it's pretty awesome. Hollywood's got the Hoag Deca and Mini Freak. But the Barrage is auto assist. This thing just fires out like crazy. Benchmade 550 Group Tillion G10. Yeah, the Grismo, Grismo Norseman looks nice. But I like the blue that they do, as you guys know. So that was one of the originals I had to pick up. Well, that's cool. Well, I think we should uh, answer some questions today. We should answer questions, anything that you've seen today, any questions about knives, any knives that you're looking to see, any knives that you're looking to pick up. Cody's trying to see if anybody has a Norseman here that he wants to pick up from him. Yeah, if you want to support Zach's Daily Carry Crew, Big Red just put a link up there. You can go ahead and check that out. Um, supports the channel here. And I greatly appreciate it as it allows me to plan giveaways and some awesome stuff going on. So I think uh, I don't see too many questions. So I'm going to get into a little something that we want to talk about. And I know last week we talked about this and, you know, a few people really stepped up and are helping out. Um, so I want to talk about that for a second. And, oh, you're going to get the Wesson Henry? Nice. 
one of the one of the things I want to talk about is, you know, a therapeutic edge has a GoFundMe going, and it's to really help him out with some medical bills. He's an awesome member of our community and just a fabulous person as well. Spent a lot of time with them here last year. Um, I know Big Red did as well. Just great, great person. So we want to take care of each other and help each other out. I know I talked about it, but a few of you guys stepped up with me and we're going to be doing this video today that will drop later today. I was going to try to get it up last week, but then I got contacted by a few people that said, hey, I want in. I want to send some stuff over and I want to donate as well. So we're going to end up doing a total of about five giveaways right now. So there's the link right there. Go fund me. Um, it's for Peter. I know it's really, really hard to ask for help. Um, but I want to, I want to show that we can help out. What's up Harlan. So there's some people donating some stuff for this giveaway. And those people are big red EDC. Um, GB. Thanks for that. That's so awesome. Um, we have another person that stepped up that was um, Glock by my side, 87, um, here on YouTube and Instagram. And another person that stepped up was DE. And, you know, I all I can say is thank you. And so I'm putting something into the giveaway. I'm putting a couple things into the giveaway. Um, there's These other people are putting things into the giveaway as well. And that's one of those things that I really want to look at and just thank you guys right now here on the live. Um, and just know that I super, super, super appreciate your help because I know you guys would do the same for me. And some of you guys have done the same for me to help me out. And even if it's just, a uh, you know, saying hi, checking in on me. Um, but we've all done nice things for each other. And I think that just speaks volumes. So there's a way I can help out. This is the way I want to give back. And I think one of the things that I want to say is this community is pretty awesome. So yeah, Born of Blades, you can still send stuff for this. Just email me, zach.edc at gmail.com. Let me know today what you're going to send because I want to get that video finalized. And what it's going to be is if you donate anything that you can, not everything that you can, but just something that you can. So if, if you normally get, you know, you know, a coffee every day or something, you skip one of them this week, and you're like, hey, I want to donate four or five bucks, you know, um, to that. When you get your receipt, just email it over to me. Um, you know, zach.edc at gmail.com. Uh, the link's going to be down in the description below for both of these things once this posts up. But that's one of those things where, yes, we love Christine too, Women Carry Knives. Um, but that's one of those things where that's just going to be how you are entered to this giveaway. So... It'll be one of those, you know, you'll send in your donation for it. And I know people are doing it on other channels and helping out as well. Um, you know, but if you do it, send it to me. That way I can get you in on this. There's some great people who are donating some amazing things. And I have a little special surprise and I'm donating as well. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, I know it's hard. It's really hard to ask for help and to receive help. And people are really wanting to help out, especially p great people in this community, uh, like Peter and Christine. So, so you can donate. Uh, the link is the GoFundMe one that Big Red posted a little bit ago. And then just email me a copy of that receipt. I don't want your personal information, like you any credit card numbers or anything. So if that's on there, feel free to delete that uh, before you send it over to me. But just showing uh, what the donation was and where it went. Um, so I know, and then we'll just, we'll just put you on the list and we'll do it that way. So there you go right there. There's another link for it. That's what I want to do and tell you guys before we wrapped up and answer some questions and maybe do a little giveaway today. So thank you guys so much for helping out with that. I know a couple of you guys have already donated. Um, I've already donated as well. Um, but yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. I want to see, I want to see him get to his goal. And it just it, stress wise, it just takes that huge, huge, um, you know, monkey off their back, so to speak. Um, so uh, anything that we can do to help out with that, I think that's amazing. So I know I can look around and be like, let's put some amazing stuff together to give back. Um, in, in addition to, you know, already donating myself. So yeah, 
So I think it's awesome. I think we'll have fun helping out a member of this community. And you guys are special, special people. So let's get some of this stuff out of the way. We're going to get our birds out of the way. We're going to get some of our... We're going to close up these knives so we can be safe. Because safety is number one priority. Now, come on. You know I stole that from somebody. <laughs> let's just say borrowed it. Um, but yeah. Jason, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Yeah, you guys. Oh, yeah. Didier, thank you so much. Yeah, just, you know, anything that you can, um, you know, something that you can help out with. Awesome. Throw, throw that email my way. And we'll get you in there. So, yeah, safety's overrated, Peter. Juggle those knives. I'm going to say no for now. <laughs> I, I need to I need to really finish that plumbing work today and not try to have a glued up, taped up hand or something. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so let's get all this stuff out of here. Let's see what we can find in our little specialty stuff here. Well, we have some very cool stuff. I like, I'm trying to see. We had some amazing things donated from our friends at Shadowborn Hanks. And I think we're going to go... I think this is fitting for today. This will be fitting. Yeah, I may need a finger cut kit right there. Exactly. Uh, we're going to go with a Shadowborn Hank with some crescent wrenches on it and a very cool OD green uh, inner material. That'll be one of the things that we're going we're gonna to raffle off today. Or giveaway, I should say. Not a raffle. It's not a raffle. It's a giveaway. Um, oh, dang, Jason. That's sorry. I'm so sorry about that. That is not fun. Not fun at all. Um, what else do we have here? This is something kind of cool. Ooh. I don't know. Should we give this away? This is just a black box, right? But it's something that you could barely find. But it's a Benchmade Cozy. And it's got like leather, kind of that pleather leather material on the outside. Yeah, let's give it away. Why not? It's sitting here. Let's give it away. We'll give that one away to you. Let's see what else we can find in here. Hmm. It's one of those like be prepared things, right? Ooh, poison ivy, Randy. That's no fun. All right, we're gonna do a little swag pack. We are also going to do, where is that one? Did that one show up? There we go. We're gonna do a pry tool, our little uh, Viva designed by Leong Ma. Flat screwdriver, bottle opener, multi-wrench, little tool. So we're gonna donate and give that to the giveaway as well. Yeah, swag's awesome. Well, swag and swags, they're both awesome. You know what I mean. And I'm trying to find that last thing here. I had it in my box. Am I all out of them? Really? No way. Dang, I'm all out of them. Okay. Little bit of a curveball here. So we're gonna go with... Yeah, we're all sticking together, definitely. No. I haven't heard much from her either. I have to give her a little shout out here. 
So, oh, actually, I know where it's at. It's right behind me. Hold on just a second here. I was, I was trying to get organized, that's why. I was like, come on now. Why am I getting all organized on this? Okay, I found it. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to donate or put in on this giveaway was the flashlight. The i3T EOS. This one's in the Coyote Brown. It's a slim EDC flashlight, it says. But it has uh, 180 and 5 lumens. So pretty cool. On five lumens, it'll run for 16 hours. Full blast, 180, run for 21 minutes. So these are the four things. I think that's pretty sweet. Little giveaway. Now, there's no knife in this one because I'm rolling over the knife money that I set aside for this week to the giveaway. No, I haven't heard from Marshall. I have not. I'll have to reach out to him. So that's why there's no knife this week. So I appreciate you guys being patient with that, but the knife money that I set aside for this week is going to the giveaway for the fundraiser with Peter. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool. Right on, nice slicers. So those are the four things you're gonna get. Now I'll tell you that, tell you what, this one, this was a limited thing that you could only get with certain purchases and in the store. Um, so certain purchases you made, you could get these, um, or in the store you could get them by spending so much. So I had two of these left, and I wanna, I wanna give one away today. So just so you know the history on this one, it's a pretty cool little deal. So, and Shadowborn Hanks, thank you so much um, sending that in for giveaways. And then the i3T EOS and CRKT are provided from Zach himself through your guys' support. So thank you guys so much. Of course, Peter, you are very welcome. So let's get into this. Let's do a little, we're going to play a little number game here. We are going to do, let's take my little handy dandy side click tactile turn pen. And we are going to do a number without knocking the camera over. So it's gonna be a number between, so it looks like there's about 65 people right now. So we're gonna do one number between one and 67. So we're gonna figure out what that number is going to be. We're going to go ahead and once you see the start on the screen from Big Red, yeah, definitely smash that like button if you want. That would be super awesome of you guys. But I'm gonna fold this up, I'm gonna put this on the screen so you know there's no controversy going on. Uh, it'll, it'll be closest without going over. It'll be, like I said, it'll be a guess. One number, one guess only. We will get the number votes in, we will tally them, we will see who's closest. What's up, Benny Blade Play? What's going on? Member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, Benny, welcome. We're about to do the giveaway for these four items, the CRKT Viva, the Shadowborn Hank, the Olight, and the Benchmade Pleather Cozy. Cozy. So there you go. Between one number between 167, thanks Big Red. Closest without going over, one vote only. If we have anybody that guesses it right on, multiple people get it closest or guess it right on, then we will have a second round just with those people who are closest, and we will go from there. Thank you guys, everybody that, that donated some stuff this week, that sent in some swag. Um, Southern Edge Knife Works for sending the chaparral in so we could review that. That's pretty awesome. We'll give it another minute or two now. Got a couple more people that have joined in. 
scroll back and we'll see who guessed it um, closest so far without giving it away to you guys. Deborah, welcome, welcome. Sean, Brian, welcome. Scott, Nathan, Aaron, Shiro, welcome, welcome. Kai Kai, welcome, welcome. Jade, welcome. MMALQ, welcome. Haven't seen a lot of you guys in here. Sorry if I missed your comments earlier. Yeah, you joined just in time. That's great. And like I said, look forward to that video later today. I will post it up that I'll have the giveaway information. And I'll have some really sweet giveaway items for the fundraiser for Peter. So just letting you know. No worries, Benny. Thanks for joining in. What's up, Mike Johnson from Iowa? Make sure you guys get your vote in if you haven't. One vote only. Choose one number between 1 and 67. Toss your number up in the live comments there or in the live chat, and we will go from there. And thanks to Big Red for the super chat donation. That's so awesome. I will put that money to good use for shipping. Benny Blade Play BBP. Nice. A little donation. Thank you so much. No show later. It's just going to be a uh, giveaway video that I post. And that way it'll give out the official information on what people are going to be able to win for the giveaway uh, for the fundraiser for Peter. So same information. All, you know, To enter, it's literally just send me a copy of that re email receipt um, showing that you had donated to the GoFundMe fundraiser. And then I will put you on the list. And then we'll basically be doing a... We'll number the list, we'll do a randomizer, and we'll go from there and select the winners kind of a thing, so. Awesome. CK's got his vote in. Uh, I'm probably gonna run it for about two weeks. Um, I think that'll be good, and I think because of the stuff I'm using. Yeah, BBP, <laughs> Benny Blade Play, BBP. Um, yeah, so my email is zach.edc at gmail.com. It'll also be posted in the link below or in the description below. All right. Yeah, there you go. If it's me, it's another prize pack for fundraiser. There you go. Nice. Okay, so I think we're wrapped up. So you'll see a stop pop up on the screen here. And we will open up. Look at that, man. Big Reds is all over it with the stop signs. Thank you so much for your help today, for your help every day. And we're going to see if anybody guessed it right on. I think I saw one person guess it right on. The number was 22. 22. So I think if I saw it correctly, I think it was Mariana. I don't know if anybody else guessed 22. Mariana. I saw a lot of 23s. Yeah, I'm only seeing the 122. Yeah, some people are a little bit over. Yeah, Morgan, you're so close. I was re rolling through there, and I'm like, man, there's a lot of people guessing 23. Maybe because of the, the great Michael Jordan, I'm not sure. All right, so Mariana, just send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com. We will get your confirmation confirmed. We will get this shipped out to you, and... Do you guys have any other questions? Since you guys are all here, let's answer some questions. Let's look at some more knives. Let's have a little party. What are you guys doing today? I'm missing the Seahawks game right now. I didn't even realize it was going to be on at 10 a.m. Yeah, it's awesome, Dan. Thanks so much for loaning me that waypoint, man, before it went out to you. If you guys haven't seen that, yeah, you know, I think you guys, a lot of you guys have seen it, but that uh, Quiet Carry Waypoint, it's a pretty awesome knife, man, that Dane ordered, and he was nice enough to let me see it, so 
let me review it. Let me carry it around the house so I didn't mess it up. But that's pretty awesome. Oh, as you're making some knives today. Nice. Watching the Packers, Vikings. Oh, good luck. Watching the Raiders? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Didier's got a question for you. Do I have the Blurple PM2 handy? I do not. It is not in this room. The only one I have close, I think, is the black on black one. I think it's just the black on black one I have. Do I have the Benchmade AFCK? Randy? I do not have that one with me, no. Oh, you just took the kids back home. Nice. Yeah, there's lots of knives that we all want, wish for and haven't got yet. Hey, Paul, take care, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was striking out on the knives, man. I brought some knives in. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got knives. And then you guys have asked for ones I didn't bring with me. Um, The Civivi Odium. I do not think I've had the Odium yet. I was just looking to see if that's one of the ones I have for in for review right now. I, it's not the Odium, no. <laughs> I I don't know, Dark Gravity. That it's it's one of those like you have to like, as you know, kind of read between the lines, right? I did not do anything with the black PM two. It is 100% stock, definitely. Oh, you're curious about the size in hand? I see what you're saying. I have not ordered any custom bug outs yet, Chad. I'm literally waiting for my home repairs to be done. Which I have like three plumbing projects. And one of them I can do myself. And the other two I gotta hire somebody, so. What's up, Deadpool Lee? Hey, thanks for jumping in with us. What are you carrying today, Deadpool? Yeah, Randy, it's uh, it's definitely one of those things. Yeah, it was supposed to be, so they got their samples, and it was supposed to be September. So I'm guessing it's going to be like in the next week or two that we'll see that bug out drop, hopefully. I want to at least get one of them. Anthem 8020 or XM18? I've heard a lot of people see the XM18 is nice. But I don't know which the Anthem 8020 is. I only know the Benchmade Anthem. Oh, your barrage and all is your bug out. Nice. Yeah, I got my barrage today. I brought that one out. Pretty awesome. It's the custom one, the blue and the green. So snappy still, I love it. Can I tell you about it? What would you like to know about it, Hollywood? Yeah, no, I hear you, Dark Gravity. Oh yeah, there's the Benchmade Custom Shop right there. Oh, what, dye and color? Sure, yeah, so I started with a base model of the white mini bug out, the 533BK, what is it? Do I have any more over here? The 533BK-1 or something like that. And from there, oh, the Anthem, the Demco 8020. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm a favorite of the Anthem, but some people would say it's too small. Some people like the XM18 because it's a little bit bigger. I mean, this is this is still a full size EDC knife for me. It's not a a full size in the fashion of like a PM2, but that's a good question. Hey, what's up, Neves? Jumping in to say hello. What's up, Neves? Knives, Neves. Thanks for jumping in. Yeah, this is a beauty. I'm glad I went with the, the clip replacement. I can carry it so many more places. 
But yeah, I would say it was the the dye itself was the super pink. And let me see, I might have the bottle here nearby. Hold on. That's the fuchsia. Do I have the super pink there? Oh yeah, here it is. So this is the dye I actually used. It's Rit Dye Dye More Synthetic, and it's the color right here is the super pink. And it literally only took like uh, maybe 45 seconds to a minute the way I do it. So I use four cups of water. I bring it to you just uh, right before it gets to a rolling boil. And then I add a quarter cup of white vinegar to the mix. Um, stir it up real quickly. And then I put the scales on a um, stainless steel skewer backwards. And prior to the scales um, coming off the knife, or once they come off the knife, I wash them with like um, hand soap. But I usually use like Dawn dishwasher detergent because it gets all the grease and oil off. Get them really nice and clean um, and then toss them on that. And then I use them as a stir stick, the scales themselves, and just stir them around in the pot. And like I said, 45 seconds or so, and I got that perfect pink color. Um, it worked really well. So that's how I did it. If you ever have a question, you can drop me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. Um, I have some really cool uh, videos on those as well. So, yeah, the super pink works out great on there. It just pops like crazy. And the purple worked out really good too. So, get a Manix with aftermarket. What? So, why don't you like the. You just don't like the access lock? Even though this one's not an access lock. What well, what made your decision not the anthem? Too too expensive. Oh yeah, send me an email, David. Yeah, the iPhone's great. A lot of people use their iPhones for stuff. Um, for doing videos, for doing lives, all that stuff. So it, the platform works really well for it. Oh, yes, too expensive. Okay, I got you, Neves. Yeah, then the Manix would be a good way to do it as well and just upgrade the scales. You just have to build it yourself, which, you know, you guys will rock that, so. And I, I didn't think I was going to like the Manix until I got hands-on with them. I just like I just like the titanium on this, and it's pretty cool, so. Versus the flat ones that I think the Manix has through like Flightanium or something. Yeah, that one's great too, um, David. Or Kloss, I mean. That's this one right here. It's a 940-2001. It's a pretty sweet knife. Got red accents. Some of my titanium favorites. That Waypoint was pretty sweet too, but... I mean, price-wise, it's like, wow, man, it's up there. But Hollow Grind, man, that was thing was sick. Yeah, see, uh, women carry knives using theirs. Big Red's using his. Galaxy. I'm hoping to get the iPhone 12 myself, but so save one for me. Okay, I'm selling a couple knives so I can pay for it. Oh, yeah, Neves, it's hard to find ones with springs that aren't like that, especially in titanium. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, you know, access, access stuff. I mean, I've had a lot of my knives. I know you guys probably flip your knives way more than I do. Um, but I use my knives a lot, and I, don't, I haven't had any springs break yet, knock on wood. But um, a couple of people have had some problems with springs, and I know that's one of the things Hogue did is, you know, they went with that spring company here. Um, and just beefed up the spring a little bit so they'd still get that ease of use but a little bit more life out of it no you don't need to buy an expensive camera at all watch selling I don't have very many watches to sell I only have like a couple watches I have a couple like old fossil watches but I don't wear those 
Then I have my Apple Watch and my one G-Shock. You know, I got this G-Shock right here that I wear. It's just a black on black kind of a thing. All right, Dane, take care, buddy. Thanks again. Oh, yeah, and sometimes with those, either, so that usually ends up being something inside on the liner is usually rubbing on the spring, causing a failure. I've heard about that before, and people have sent their knives in just to have them rebuilt. And they usually just throw new liners on them because of it. Yeah, the G-Shocks are nice. I mean, it's, it's rugged. It's going to do whatever you need to do. That one's solid. It's been rocking it. Oh, really? You have the same one? Yeah. Yeah, I do not get into watches. I've, I've tried to keep myself from that, so... Yeah, the GoPro is nice for some of those action shots, but you have to do all the conversions. Um, there's a lot more editing involved when you're doing the GoPro stuff. A lot of the mobile devices, you know, make it pretty simple to just shoot and go and also build your video right off of it. Um, I know with Apple, what I use, you know, they have iMovie and you can jump right in with iMovie after doing some editing in another software. And you can literally just, you know, build your video, put in titles, put in transitions, you can trim your video down just right on your phone, so. Oh, what was being sold? That's a good question. I'm putting together my final list this week of stuff that I'm selling. And I'll probably put it out to, oh, well, I definitely will put it out to Zach's Daily Carry Crew first. So you guys will get a list of what I'm selling and prices before um, I do a video on it. What's up, Talbert? Yeah, you're, you've, we've wrapped up pretty much. We're just uh, answering some questions and flipping some knives and telling some stories real quick and going to go see if the Seahawks won. Or if they held on to it. So what do you guys what do you get what knives do you guys have coming in this week? That's my question. It's like what's come what's on the way? If you see some before. Yeah, Mikey, yeah, definitely. You know, you can send me an email, we'll we'll talk about things. You know, if there's something of interest. I can at least let you know if it's going to be going going or not. Yeah, and that's and that's another thing like you know, I our good buddy Ray, Everyday City Carry, he talks about the editing stuff and he's, you know, he's really into it. But he's spending when he does some bigger ones, he's doing 5 to 7 hours of editing. And that's a lot. So Oh, you got the Rough Rider Denim Macarta work knife. I may have one or two of those coming as well. Should be here tomorrow. Yeah, nice. Mine should be too, but... It's weird, like, the post office is still doing all their normal deliveries, but, like, UPS here in Portland stopped delivering a couple days ago. So I have a couple things just chilling on a truck somewhere. Oh, sure, Christine. You can tell me how they did. Oh, custom bug out or basic PM2. Nice. Yeah, I'll let you know about that one, definitely. Oh, yeah, Randy. I hear you on fixing up the house. I think my house is about 25 years old. And everything's breaking, you know. We got our place a while back, um, maybe 15 years ago or so, and it was like, you know, we had a lot of things we replaced, like sinks and faucets and toilets and other stuff, and now everything's coming for other stuff, so. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, JB. Yeah, definitely. Your most recent was two. Nice. Oh, okay. That's a good score. I like that. 
That's good. I saw Russell Wilson was doing some running plays. First one he did was like 28, uh, 28 or 26 uh, yards. I was like, look out. Oh, you got some V fractures on the way? Nice. Oh, organizer and wallet. Oh, nice, Talbert. What type of organizer are you looking for? I picked up this one from Garage Bill Gear. They sent me one um, to check out that was like a kind of a brown color. And then I bought this one that's like the black multicam. And it kind of does everything inside. It's pretty big. I mean, you could have put a small, you could put a tablet in there or a small laptop. And it's got all the stuff on the back too, but that's where my burn, that's where my Burnley stuff's going to go. It's going to go right here. It's going to go brink. But we'll leave it out there for right now. And I was really impressed with that. The Chiefs, nice. I got this one from Old Big Red. This fracture. Beautiful Tonto. Tanto Tonto. Need to sell your store stock? You got a link? What's the link? Uh, message it to you, Big Red. He can type it in there for you while we're doing the live. Yeah, Hollywood. I can definitely open it, slow roll it, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not able to front flip it, though. But, yeah, I can get my thumb in there and just kind of slow roll it, which is nice. It's hard to do behind the camera, but it's kind of neat because the way this is bent down, it kind of gives you that ability to push it closed. I know. Soon I'll be front flipping it. I'll be like, poop. Wouldn't that be the day? Oh, Ducour's here. What's up? Oh, you'll have your soon? That's cool. Oh, recent two Civivi fractures. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. Send it over. The front flip sound. Yeah. But yeah, Christine, send it over to Big Red. We'll post it up in there. We'll definitely do that. Yeah, I hope so too. The one that they have here that's closest to us is still like 5% contained, 0%. I mean, they have the front edge of it that they've kind of stopped it from spreading that direction towards town, which is nice. And they've lowered some of the evacuation levels, but. Oh yeah, okay, definitely get all that posted and do a video and we'll uh, we'll share it around, definitely. Because that stuff's pretty cool. Hey, what's up, Hilltop Knives? Hilltop Knives and Gear is back. Uh, so the Chaparral, are you talking about on Southern Edge Knife Works? I don't think it's in their stock right now, but if you email Southern Edge Knife Works, they will get this one for you. Is that what you're talking about? Aaron? Okay. Yeah, just, just email Southern Edge Knife Works from their website there and let them know what you're looking for and they'll get it for you. And they'll apply all of your discounts for you. Oh, thanks, David. I appreciate it. Yeah, have a great rest of your weekend, man. I appreciate you joining in. That's really cool. What's up, Blade Banner? Orion Knives himself in the house. What up? Yeah, the chaparral's gorgeous.
All right, David. Take care, buddy. There you go. WomenCarryKnives.com. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm going to take another sip of my tea here. Oh, yeah, you can join Zach's Daily Carry Crew. You get custom emojis. Um, you're also going to get early access to videos. Uh, I posted a video the other day uh, for the crew. And then I got some knife sales coming up. So I'll be posting that stuff in there. All right, Klaus. Thanks, buddy. I'm drinking a cinnamon spice tea today. So it's kind of good flavors. There's DE. DE's here. DE's one of the ones with Big Red and Glock by my side who are donating um, to the giveaway. And then it sounds like maybe um, somebody else will be emailing me today as well about that. Oh, I'm sorry, Randy. That's such a bummer, buddy. Having poison ivy, that's no fun. But I just want to give a huge shout out to those people who are donating stuff to the giveaway um, fundraiser. It'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to do it. it. It's always a great feeling to give back. Um, Glock by my side, you know, he sent me this one out. Uh, it's just a thank you and uh, I cherish it, man. You know, I mean, he made sure the edge was good on it cause he'd used it a little bit, but it's a beautiful knife. It matches up my blue one. Um, but thank you. That's pretty cool stuff. And he stepped up and is donating again for the giveaway. The custom bug outs, uh, you just want to see them. I might have some custom bug outs. Oh, where are they? Hold on. I have a bug out bag that I brought with me. I need to definitely dark gravity. I need to add some of that to it. Oh, let's see. Are they in this bag? I have one of them in here. I have the black and red one with G10. Dang, I just got a pop-up. Russell Wilson has four touchdown passes. But this is the red G10. Or, I'm sorry, the black G10 with red accents. It's in 20 CV, coated blade. It's a beautiful one. I like that one, but my favorite, dang, did I forget my favorite one? Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Is it right here? Oh, that's the G, there, that's the uh, FRN one. Dang it, it's in my, it's on my nightstand. All right, I keep those close by, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But the blue G10 one is gorgeous too, so. But I have to say, like, if you can build one, I haven't adjusted that one yet. Yeah, it's literally a bag of bug outs. Here, let me see if I can, I don't know if I can get it all on camera. Hold on. But it's literally, and I have more than what's in this bag. And I've kind of, but I literally have a bag of bug outs and I've jammed a couple into each spot. But I literally have a bag of bug outs, so. My bug out bag. Oh, Saints are coming out, huh? Yeah, they totally should have. You know, I, I think when he was talking about it, um, when he did his, wasn't his live that he did? And... Yeah, Crimson Scales. They did a nice one. This is the one kind of like Big Red ordered in the in the FRN, like the Crimson uh, Plastic Scales, which are beautiful. I need to start a Benchmade Bug Out Anonymous group or just a Benchmade Anonymous group. I need to, yeah. And, I, you know, this is the S30V. This is the international one, and you can build this exact one on their on their custom knife builder now. Custom knife shop. Yeah, the Crimson Red's a beautiful one. So. Uh oh. But yeah, and that was one of those that I think. 
you know, they, they did that as well. I, I just don't know, you know, Blade HQ, I, I think after Ben left, I don't know how much input he had, but I think after Ben left, there was a lot of moving around. And, you know, I think, because I think on the mini bug out, they had the same problem with the white and black mini bug out. They didn't order enough, you know, and they did a, pr a huge pre-order and let a lot of people pre-order. And they had to refund a lot of people money. And I know you guys were pretty upset. Yeah, the ones I made on the customizer, you can make this one on the customizer yourself right now if you want. Um, they also have a, a kind of a red, darker red G10 that you can use um, as an additional option. Um, and then I made the black one with the black and red. So it's the black G10 scale. It's the red accents, the 20C blade, but the texture on it is, is pretty comfortable. So it's not sharp or anything like that. It gives you enough so it's not gonna be slick. Yeah, there's the, there's the customizer right there. And the blue one I, I left in the other room, so I apologize, but it's a blue G10. Looks really, really close to this blue right here. Has a black blade. So, and I think I'm going to have to answer that question. All right, David, Blade Banner, awesome work on your Ryan Knives Solaris. That's pretty cool stuff, buddy. I, I would always say yes by a bug out. Yeah, Syed, yeah, that would be an awesome combo. Blue G10 satin 20 CV blade. Yeah, Randy, <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and that's one of those that I'm gonna have to ask on that because I don't know if that's one of their plans for the future. Um, is to do that or not? Because I know they have, they you know, just like this one, they offer these international, you know. So I don't know if it's just a shipping problem, but I know that there was one in Canada. And I don't know if you guys can buy through Canada or not, but there's a Canada Benchmade dealer who orders custom Benchmades from the customizer and then sells them through their website. So I think you can contact them and say, hey, would you build me this one? And then you can order it through them. Yeah, so Randy, I was told that in the future here, you'll see damascus steel options and carbon fiber as well. And I'm guessing, I haven't got the official confirmation, but I'm guessing through all the channels that um, the mini bug out will also follow because that's what they've done with every knife. I would I would love to see this option, uh, like a, a blue G10 carbon fiber, like start mixing it up a little bit, but that might be too custom. This is a mini barrage with it. This was a uh, Benchmade Forum knife they did in 2017. So, you can't go wrong with that. You might see that in my carry this week because I haven't carried that one for a while but it has the cool split arrow. And of course it's part of the knife itself. So you can't go too wrong with it, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, Dawn C, thank you for putting that in there. Warriors and Wonders. They build a lot of customs and sell them on their website. And I would definitely support them for doing that. And so if you can buy through um, Decour, if you can buy through them, out of Canada, that would probably be your best option. You might even be able to email them and say, hey, would you build this one for me? Yeah, the Anthem is nice. I like the Anthem. I like just, I mean, it's literally like, it's, I mean, I almost describe it as like guillotine style. Cause I mean, it'll just come down. It's so smooth. So,
and the and the stone wash to the the blade is beautiful. I like they did the little bit different axis bar and thumb stud to match the patterns. Kind of like a geared look. Oh no, ATL's coming back. Don't say that. 20 CV blade on this one. But MXG gear clip, I mean, some people love that 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 look, but I don't know. On the on the milled pocket clip, I mean it matches, but it wouldn't it wouldn't allow me to carry it at work. Is the problem because my work I wear a little bit thicker pants at work. Yeah, the finish on this titanium holds up pretty good. Um, I've carried this one a whole bunch. Uh, this is my daily user, and it's it's holding up pretty good titanium-wise. There's a few marks that you can barely see, kind of on the top of the ridges, like right here. You know, get a little bit of wear out of that from pocket and use, but that's it so far. Yeah, the milled one does look like a dongly. <laughs> yeah, it's very lightweight, Hollywood. Um, you know, I would say if you want to spend the money and get the G10 version, it's worth it. But the Super Freak... Um, is a nice one, unless you're looking for a smaller one. I know the question was posed to me about the S90V carbon fiber mini freak or the CF Elite Presidio mini. Um, and I think I have that one too here, hold on. And this one's a hard, this one's a hard decision for me. I might have to do like a versus video because between these two, the CF Elite makes this a lot lighter for the Mini Presidio and Mini Presidio 2. And this to me is like a rugged work knife. Use this every day. Go crazy. Yeah, what's up, Mikey? And then the CF Elite version, we're kinda we kind of dove into the whole benchmade side. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. But this one is kind of like a, a little more fancier version to me. So it's something I'd carry maybe outside of work. I mean, I, I've carried this at work, which is no big deal. But, you know, between the two, it's like this is kind of my workhorse, the Presid Mini Presidio 2. And then this one is more of the, like, you want to be a little fancier, a little pop of color. You got that crazy S30V blade. So that's me, though. I might have to do a versus, you know, a little challenge video between the two. But they're very, very comparable. Handle wise, blade wise. Yeah, they went with that higher price on carbon fiber and S90V. Oh, sending you to the store. Oh, all right, Talbert. Take care, buddy. The mini looks off. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a small version, you know, being the mini. Oh, here's the Super Freak right here. Now you can't, to me, you can't go wrong with the Super Freak. The only thing that is a must is you gotta get those red thumb studs. Cause that just matches. And Adrian sells those beautiful red thumb studs that just pop like crazy which you may see another set of those come up in a giveaway here soon from me because Adrian sent me a set of those. So if you can find a freak, a super freak like this, the G10, the coated M4, I mean, you don't have to get serrations. I use them at work, but. Oh, you ordered the red thumb studs the other day? Yeah, you cannot go wrong with those whatsoever. They are fantastic.
Oh, 25% more, really? Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, Hollywood, that's cool. You got the regular one, the regular Mini Freak with the the rubber scales. And I don't mind that, but like on the one, where do you go? So like these are the G10 scales. Yeah, they're T they're T6, I think, screw on ones. So you have to use a T6 driver on each side. And just be very, very careful with them. Don't over tighten and don't try to loosen them too much. Just go very gently on it uh, because they're aluminum. But the G10 scales that Rogue Blade Works did make the mini freak like where it needs to be. So I think this is something that we need to see from Benchmade is you know, a G10 slimmed down like this, and it would make that mini freak um, real usable, you know? Because um, even these carbon fiber ones are a little thicker compared to the G10 here. Just slim down a little bit. Oh man, Rough Riders doubles overseas? Holy cow. Or holy smokes. Yeah, probably was he depressed by that point, yeah. Yeah, Super Freak's little brother. I don't know, Mark. I was hoping that, you know, I sent a message to Rogue Blade Works a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm trying to find, so I'm trying to find some blue G10. They made blue G10 for the Mini Freak a while back, and I'm trying to find a set of those. And so I was asking them if they're going to make another run of those. Um, but they're doing some transitions right now. So I'm hoping they do it soon. But yeah, that'd be cool if they did the scales for the big one. And Benchmade, you know, when they're doing their, their ramp up for putting a knife in the custom shop. What's up, Brian? Welcome. Richard's here. What's up, Richard? Both members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew, what's going down? Man, that's so crazy that they double or triple the prices overseas. I just can't believe that. Oh, man. I know Dane was super, super awesome to let me check out that Quiet Carry Waypoint. Because I have the Quiet Carry IQ, and it was just, it's too small for me. Um, so I'm, I don't know if I'm even going to hang on to that one. That might be on my list. I don't know. The ones I want to get rid of, I've never used it, you know, because it's so small and so thin. Um, it's a very smooth little flipper, you know, with coated titanium and carbon fiber. And a coated blade, but, oh man, I'm almost out of tea here. Working on the bottom of it. Richard, thank you guys so much for the shirt. Um, wore it this last week. It's pretty cool. Very cool of you guys. I'm jealous you guys got to go to like one of the the the, the candy lands of uh, the knife community. <laughs> now I'm super excited because oh yeah, you're welcome, Brian. I'm glad you got them. Um, I'm super excited for what's to come because. You know, we saw the the announcement. I don't know if you guys saw the WoW uh, a week ago or so from Blade HQ, but I put in my question about seeing their new exclusive bug out, and Zach was nice enough to send somebody to his office to pick up that sample that he has and bring it out and show us. And it's pretty cool. They, they, they took those materials out of the custom shop, so you can't build one just like it. Um, but... It's it's a pretty nice, and it's going to be cheaper than you can buy on the custom shop. So it's pretty cool. I, I want to see, though. I really want to see. I mean, this is the year of the 940, right? 20th anniversary. You, so I want to see some, you know, drop drop a couple custom 940s with, like, you know, Knife Works or Blade HQ or Smoky Mountain or drop one with all of them, you know. Be like, hey, these are some dealer exclusives. 
I know some of you guys don't like that, but to me, they would be way easier to get and stay more price regulated than trying to track one of these down because, you know, uh, Mikey, I'm probably going to go, the first one I get will probably be the satin just to match. And then I'll probably go with a black one if I have the ability to pick up a second. Just depends on how bills go and house repairs. So I'll probably try to do the satin one first. Um, I set some money aside from um, a knife and some scales that I sold here about a week or two ago, about two weeks ago now, I think. Um, so I'm probably gonna do that one. Oh, just to match the scales. Kind of the satin blade to match the scales because the scales are lighter colored. Not doing the contrast. Oh, that's a good deal. Drop sends them through Germany. Okay. That's a good way to get through it then. Yeah, no, I wish they had some more custom stuff coming up I knew about, but... The button action on this one is nice. I mean, I've, I've sat in meetings and just drove people crazy and it works great just like it did the first time, so. Oh, it's kind of mushy. There's a way to adjust that. Um, I think if you get a hold of them, if you message them, Will will tell you how to adjust it or he may send you out a new inner piece because they, they pop out, if you saw um, Nick Shabazz's video on it, they pop out really easily. You can take them apart from the top, which is funny because these unscrew, I'll put my cup up here a little bit. These unscrew a little bit right here. So, I mean, they just come apart and you can basically put in your, they have a little O-ring and everything. And you can see all the milling on that, hopefully. It's just, it's crazy awesome. And I, I actually replaced mine with a, uh, with a blue one, Easy Flow. And it seems to be working just fine. On one of my other ones that I have, and watch how this disappears. Like once you tighten it down, it's like, where's the line? It disappears in it. So it's kind of that cool look. I like the I like how it just disappears. But I replaced another one of mine, um, the bolt action one. I actually put a Fisher Space Pen refill in there, and it seems to be working great. Yeah, definitely reach out to him. Let him know, Mister McKenzie. Yeah, he'll he'll he's been great at like, you know making sure stuff's dialed in. Oh yeah, you did the same refill? Yeah. And they said they don't work 100%, but mine works great. All right, Christine, thanks for joining. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, we've been going for almost two hours now, so I'll probably wrap it up because I need to get on that. I think I've been delaying because the kitchen repairs I got to do, but <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so if you guys have any other questions, let me know. If not, we'll wrap it up. Thank you all to those who joined uh, Zach's Daily Carry Crew and who are mem members currently. Um, you'll see my knife list start popping up this week. You'll also see uh, a giveaway video later today that I'll post on people that have generously donated some things to help with Peter's GoFundMe. And yeah, you guys are awesome. Please do something kind for someone. Keep us in your thoughts and prayers. Um, everyone here in, on the whole West Coast um, just needs to get these fires dealt with. So I'm hoping we get a lot of rain this week. So, Oh, okay, Mikey, that'd be cool. Yeah, just let me know either way. I prefer, Randy, the, the push button now over the bolt action.
Thanks, Big Red, for all your help. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks, as always, for helping out with posting those links. That's pretty awesome. See you, the man ski. Take care, buddy. You guys have a great Sunday. Go Hawks. I hope your football team wins. Unless it's Atlanta. I'm just kidding. Glock by my side. Thanks, buddy. You're awesome. Thanks again. I'm going to go pick up that package right now. Mikey, take care, buddy. Richard, have an awesome week, man. Thanks again for everything. Thanks, DE. I appreciate you. Mikey, same, buddy. Krista, I appreciate it. And thank you so much for you guys reaching out. Uh, if you guys saw the beginning of this video, um, I just did a huge shout out to everybody that's reached out lately. It's It's been pretty uh, amazing. So, Morgan, take care, buddy. Thanks for thinking of me this week. Nice slicers. Appreciate the swag. Northman EDC. Big Red. Southern Edge Knife Works. Doing it up. Don't forget the 15th you're gonna it's gonna have a switch over to pay for flat rate shipping of five dollars which is amazing so on top of your 15 percent off that's pretty good so randy take care same with you buddy hope you're feeling better this week i'm gonna jump out of here you guys have been awesome do something kind for someone but most importantly you guys take care